Sweden's Lynn Grant, this for birdie at the fourth. She's talked about how she feels really comfortable with the putter. And she certainly has shown it off. A little bit earlier, you low now, got it down there where Pedersen had it. Goes straight up in the air with it, couple kicks. Watch out, got it. That's an eagle. That was her third straight birdie, and then at the fifth. Another example here, beautiful stroke. Now oh, Minji Lee now, a little easier chip shot. Landed just on the green, second eagle of the day. Well, that tee shot went to the right into the trees, had to punch out to here. Obviously a long shot now into the green, but decent strike. Not surprising that she would miss the fairway right here today after missing it left yesterday and making bogey. A little bit uphill, it's going to break to the left. Lynn has not had her umbrella out all day, obviously coming from Sweden. I think she's kind of used to the wet conditions and nothing seems to be phasing her. Yeah, she didn't let outside things bother her. I talked to her coach at Arizona State, Missy Kay, and she says she has an ability to block out the things that, you know, if she can't control them, she's not going to worry about them. Yeah, sometimes you feel like you're almost rushing a bit in the rain because you still have the same amount of time to play. Yeah, they don't give you any extra time just because it's raining. I always felt like it benefited the fast players like myself. I didn't have, you know, I, I, I was able to stay in my routine. Try to play in between raindrops, as they say. <laughs> and she'll make par at the par five. Tried to avoid another one. Oh, wow. I think if you're just slightly out of position, Jim, it's going to really hit you hard today in these conditions. I agree, especially on a par five of this length. They're actually, it's under par today, but it has been over par. It's just such a long hole, you can't afford a mistake. Oh, this could no. be really good. No, Excellent. it is. Yeah. Excellent play. Kind of bobble coming out of there, took off the speed. It's just the wrench is just a, sometimes a little bumpy coming out of there. So she'll make par at nine. Okay, that gets her one better, gets her to nine under par. 171. And a green that I can see a lot of water on. Whoa. Wow. She's going to need squeegees to hit that putt, I can guarantee you. Now, this has got to go a bit. I think, Karen, how will each of these players respond after the delay? And Lynn was so hot before. Got it. Got it. Yeah. 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 Well, I say Allison responded fairly well. I would say, yeah, the break may have done her some good. She talked about being fatigued. So could I give this one enough? There she goes. A damp fairway, but they're lift clean in place. This from 163. Ah, oh, you could see the moisture coming out of the ground with that divot. Good shot. Yeah, sure. Again, no wind at all. Ooh. Just a little left. A second iron in a row that's looked like a yeah. bit of a tug. It's kind of a quick little handsy transition through, but that's a fairly easy putt. to get the 10 under did she yes great read great putt good birdie on this hole only gave up five birdies to this point that's now sixth stroke looked good i'd say the read was good. pretty good <laughs> yeah all right any part for second shot here at nine well pretty straightforward chip jim whoa all right 
Nice shot there. A couple feet left for birdie. Well played. Got left on her early. All right. Just have to hit it hard enough up that slope. Lynn Grant for Eagle to extend that lead. Well, this one is uphill, but from long range. Stay up. All right. Got that left for birdie. Two shot lead. What a beautiful drive she hit in there. Looks like she looks like she's going to finish. Yeah, she did on the last hole. I like that. He's waiting around. Get the putter face clean. Nothing in this. All right, nice birdie. It's sort of 14 under. All right, back to back birdies there. Nicely done. Good drive. Good two putt. Make the turn. So we'll bounce back for those bogeys of five and seven. Fourth. Nicely done. All three players making birdie at the ninth. They'll make the turn and head over to the tenth. But Lynn Grant has a three shot lead. On a good line. Oh my. Yeah. Great line. And that will be for birdie to get to 12 under. Uh, quite a bit of rain today, so many of these whole locations are on the highest portion of the green. Just slightly left of the hole. Yeah, not bad. Leaves it below the hole. That's putting almost straight back up the hill here. Eight iron in hand, 147. Uh, turning a little left. Plenty of height on it. Just the hair left of the hole. You can see she was holding off the finish there, trying to get something to fall to the right, but good spot to leave it. It's one of the beautiful things about coming back to the same place year after year. You, you develop that, that knowledge. Which in a way makes what Lynn Grant is doing even more impressive, seeing it for the first time. Maybe she'll have her name up there. Now, Castron for that birdie at 12. Uh, no need to read this one. <laughs> Straight in from three feet. All right, what a spectacular three after that tee shot. Uh, she knew it as soon as she hit it, but it wasn't quite the strike that she wanted more than there when the puck comes up that short. Yeah, just maybe slightly off center. Take some speed off of it. Nice comeback for Annie after the double bogey at four. Yeah, they had started started to get a little bit firmer yesterday afternoon, Karen, but now they're just going to stop dead just about all afternoon. Absolutely. Oh, it. Yes, she did. There's been seven birdies. That's a chance for the eighth today. That would look good all the way. What a beautiful golf swing. For Eisenhower's with this group. Looks like Castron next. Second shot. 125 yards. Oh, this looks good in the air. Looks pretty good on the ground, too. Nice shot there. And that's a pretty clean strike right there on a good line. On a great line. Better than great. Did she make it? She did. Wow, what a shot. Oh, wow. That was amazing. What a shot. Wow. Back to back. Beautiful putt there. Quite a wrap. She's got that left.
Go. Okay, nice putt. Good save. Kind of keep that momentum going. Don't want to make a bogey at this point. There's hardly any wind. The golf course is very soft. And it's out there for the taking right now. Yeah, that was just one to go. Minchie lead for par. Now, you got to remember, she drove it to fairway bunker, hit it in the next fairway bunker, hit it to there. That's got to be tracing pretty good, Grant. Yeah, beauty. Uh -huh. She continues to play at a very high level. Yeah, it's Pedersen out of the right rough. Yeah, from 150, not the best of lies, but that's acceptable. Yeah, I think say so. It kind of releases the screen, kind of goes back, but that's a... So, wedge for her and expect this to release just a little bit, even though these greens are so soft. I think it came out nicely. Yeah, she's staring at it. Why not? How good is that shot, Grant? Distance controls, but sometimes an issue. Shouldn't be from this distance, though. Trying to keep it in low. Wow. Did she again? Incredible. Oh. Might have to play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Shoot. Yeah, she did and almost made it. We hope we don't have any bad blood of any kind. There might sometimes always tends to be a little something, but... You know, Lynn Grant almost certainly will be on that European squad. Allison Corpus just winning last week. Absolutely. Yeah. This does not look good. Really about all she had. That was a smart shot. I mean, you could have gotten cute with it. Oh, this one is a little tricky. It is back downhill. They did it at number nine. Did they do it at 13? Nope. That was a tricky read. You're right. Oh, that's that been, didn't wiggle left. It went, yeah, it All went opposite. Putts that putt's gone left every time. In that direction. You pick your line, you commit to it, and you go forward, you try to execute it. Now this line better be on the right edge. It was right in the middle of the hole. Okay, uh, good save. I Incredible day here. Second one this week that she's had. All right, Castron for the bogey. Okay, so let's see if she can maybe get one back at 16. But Second bogey of the day. It's going to be downhill at first and then back up a bit at the hole. Oh, it's still bumped a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, that took quite a lot of the momentum out of it there early. It's going to break a little bit to the left. So she's going to stay nine under for the day and ahead by six at the moment. Corpus with a birdie putt in a moment, but that scorecard. Putt kind of ran out of gas and you wonder if uh, Allison has enough left in the tank. Be hard enough to beat Lynn Grant, period, but coming off the emotion of last week. Just a moment ago at 16, the second for Matilda Castron. 163 yards. And another quality iron shot. That's her bread and butter. Yeah, good shot. Okay. So that'll work. Good shot out of there. Can't really go at that flag without perfect yardage. So middle of the green's fine. All right. Got the right yardage there. Shot in there. Andy Park hit. She's the only player over par in the top 30, so that'll help her. Looks like she's hitting this fairly straight. Doesn't look like there's much in it. Gotta go. Slides off to the right. So pretty stress free par here at 15. She remains at 18 under, 9 under on her round today. Really is. And it's been hard for her today to, to get anything going. But after such a good round yesterday, I mean, understandable. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, made that double at four in the rain. That just kind of got you going in the wrong, got her going in the wrong direction there, but did birdie nine and 10, but a bogey at 11. But man, you just got to hit that a little bit firmer, obviously. It's all about controlling your spin right now. Uh huh. Yeah, I'd say she did a pretty good job with that. Excellent shot. I look for this one to be, be close. She's been putting a lot of work in on her wedge game lately. Let's see if it's been paying off. It's been. I'd say it is. She'd say it is. We all are going to say it is. She's got a chance for birdie. So she needs to birdie in to join her fellow Swede Annika Sorenstam in elite company. All right, Pedersen for birdie. That was just a moment ago at 17. Nice putt there. That gets her to 12 under. Just a moment ago, so a couple good birdies at 17 for these. I mean, it's not easy when you're playing with somebody that's that's shooting lights out as well. That was from 179, whole location, all the way at the very back of the green today. Yeah, she set up well left, Karen, to hit a bit of a fade around this tree. Yeah, she has a lower ball flight. I think a good shot here would be anything within 10 foot of the hole. Pick it up really steeply going back. What a shot. Mm. Beautiful. Avoid that back lip of the bunker as well. It's just been a tough pot to read. Only four birdies today, but you gotta feel like you gotta stay close. Still gotta keep trying to make birdies. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow, even though Lynn does have a big lead right now. There's a lot of golf left to play and a lot of birdies to be made on this golf course. Well, I think that's exactly it, Morgan. You've got to visualize yourself going out and shooting that 62 yourself tomorrow. It's uphill. It's just the patience in the interim, Karen, that's <laughs> hard to handle. And then when you stop playing, you've realized that you have no patience left at all because you've used it all up. <laughs> that ain't that the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Back into a slight breeze. No, it's going to spin. Each two does nicely done. Yeah, this is a tough spot for Annie in that rough over there and no real angle to that flag. Got to hit this one perfectly. Oh, just a nice job there. Carried about halfway there to move to her left. Kind of stuck the club in the ground with that leading edge in this wet grass here. Use the bounce a little bit more on these shots, and that also creates more spin too. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! Slid that club underneath it nicely. Inside four feet for birdie. Fourth shot for Castron at 18. Well. That's what she should have done the first time. And that's when you just kick yourself and do you say that you say, why didn't I just do that? Emily Pedersen for birdie at 18. Up the hill, breaking to the left. Is it worse when you leave it right in the jaws, Morgan? The ball sitting up quite well. More of a running shot here. Just so slow. We've seen a few other players from that spot struggle to get it all the way to the hole location. Otherwise, you're going to have to make sure that you play a little bit left of the hold so it doesn't take that swale. Scooped it a bit, went with the 50 degree wedge, less loft, trying to add a little bit something to it. And just bit of a scoop Karen um, just to try and get it in the red numbers and I think you can pat yourself on the back knowing that you didn't quite have it 
almost everyone has left that putt short today on 18. Just so slow up that hill.